Hello students, I am Ruchika and I welcome you to Success CDs Education. Here I have information for students of mathematics of class 12th who follow the CBSC. I will tell you what is the exam pattern, the weightage which is given to the different topics, the question wise breakup, the design of the question paper which you should expect and some tips. This is the different allocation of marks unit wise. So for the topic of relations and functions, uh, 10 marks will be al allotted in the paper. For algebra, it is of 13 marks. Calculus will be of 44 marks. Vectors and three-dimensional geometry is for 17 marks. Linear programming will be of 6 marks and probability topic has 10 marks. So it will be a total of 100 marks paper. So all this information is available on the official website of the CBSC. Here you can see the question wise breakup. So there are three types of questions basically. The very short answer type of questions which carry one mark per question. So there will be six questions of this kind which will make a total of six marks. Then for the long answer one type of questions which carry 4 marks each and there will be 13 questions of this kind and it will total to 52 marks. Then there are the long answer 2 type of questions which carry 6 marks each and it will have 7 questions in all which will total to 42 marks. So there will be a total of 26 questions and which will be of 100 marks. So there is one more important information that the, the CBSC has not provided any chapter wise weightage. So you should cover, you are supposed to cover all the chapters. You cannot miss out on any chapter. This is the uh, design of the question paper. So here you can see that the type of questions are the remembering type of questions. Uh, there will be two very short answer type questions from this and three long answer one questions which are the four markers and one long answer two type of question can be there. So it will this will be a total of 20 marks or else you can say 20% weightage is given to this type of questions. And the next type of questions are the ones which are based on understanding. There will be two very short answer questions, one long answer one type of question and two long answer two type of questions and the total marks will be 22. Then the third category type is the application where you have to apply your knowledge. So this type of questions there will be one very short answer question for one mark. Then there will be four four marker questions and two six marker questions and this kind of uh, questions carry total of 29 marks. The next types are the high order thinking skills type of questions which have a higher difficulty level. There will be one very short answer from this. There will be two long answer one type of questions and one long answer two type of question. And this topic carries a total of 15 marks. Then finally there is the evaluation based questions and there will be only uh, one long answer two type of question and two long answer two type of questions and this also carries total of 14 marks. So you can see that all these five categories make up to a total of 100 marks. Here are the tips to score more marks. First of all the pattern of the paper will be the same as is given in the NCERT textbooks. So you should follow it very precisely. For the long answer two type of questions which are the six markers, the topics of linear programming, curves and differential equations are very important. For the questions which are the long answer one types which are the four markers, the topics of integrals and differentiate functions. These two topics are very important and it's quite probable that you will get questions from them. 
there are some questions which are the kinds of prove the given statements or equations these types of questions mostly come from the ncert textbook the topics of calculus probability algebra and linear programming should not be missed the questions from them are very straightforward and easy to attempt there are some important definitions and you get questions based on them uh, like function direction ratios singular matrices thank you and if you have queries relating to physics then follow the given link for chemistry also we have this link and for other subjects you can follow the class 12 exam pattern and tips link thank you and do subscribe to success series education